Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandran. In this video, we will try to understand what are the different types of piping design engineering strategies that are applied based on different types of projects. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So first, let's go through the agenda of this video. The agenda of this video is, first we will discuss about the types of engineering projects that are executed for the development of process planned engineering and what are the applications applications in terms of when and where which types of engineering are actually used based on the types of projects and the last one is that engineering execution strategies so that you will understand that where you have to use this particular strategy so these are the three important areas that uh, we are going to cover in this video so let's get into the topic actually so before going to the topic if you're not subscribed and if you're new so please give me a subscription to motivate me and i have a small announcement for you all recently i have created a new youtube channel with an intent to create contents that are helpful for career making and in one of my recent videos and I have listed my regrets which I should have done at my 20s. So I kindly request you all to watch this video so that you won't repeat these mistakes in your career because these informations will help you to take your career into a better position. So if you like this video, you can always subscribe to my channel if, if you feel the contents are worth. Now let's get into our topic. The execution of process planned engineering has a different types of strategies actually. The first and foremost strategy is uh, greenfield engineering strategy. See greenfield engineering strategy is actually a strategy that are used for new field, brand new field everything is going to be new actually so there will not be any uh, uh, existing uh, equipments or pipings or uh, there will not be any plot also so the new field means right from the plot has to be designed in such a way uh, that is exclusively based on new requirements because new fields are generally comes up with a brand new requirements so then uh, wherever the fresh study is required so as I said, uh, the greenfield is completely a brand new uh, projects actually. So fresh study, fresh study in the in terms of uh, uh, new requirements and uh, new demands of the industries. So basically, greenfield type of engineering is applied for a brand new process plan. So this is one type of engineering uh, that we generally um, follow in uh, process plan development. And the second type is brownfield engineering. Brownfield engineerings are known to be an engineering that are applied in existing field. So if you have an existing field and you if you want to do anything uh, in the existing field, then the brownfield engineering strategies are applied. This is basically to improvise the existing field actually. So if you want to improvise or if you want to increase the production in the existing field. So basically an improvised kind of uh, rejuvenation kind of uh, like um, a debottlenecking. So you will increase the capacity of the plant. So basically you are going to improvise your existing plant. And uh, the another feature is that the brownfield engineering needs a study of existing and as well as new because you are going to install something in the existing. Uh, whatever that you are going to install is going to be new but you are going to install it in the existing field. So you need to have a study of both existing and as well as new to understand how this in engineering actually works. So this is about the second type actually. Let's go to the third type. The third type is an asphalt engineering. Asphalt engineering is known as actually updating the site condition to your existing 3D model or existing drawings. So basically we need to update the as it is site condition in the 3D model or drawings. So uh, what happens is that you will build exactly whatever items that you are um, uh, available in the sites will be um, recorded in 3D model and drawings. Basically it's a reflection of the existing site condition that is actually for uh, to update the latest information as per the site condition because there are lots of modifications that are going on in the site. So most of the modifications may not be updated. So as well uh, kind of an engineering is to uh, do to capture the actual field condition. So these are the three various, I mean the three important engineering that are predominantly followed in the process plan developments. Now we will see what are the applications actually. The first uh, one is greenfield engineering. Let's see what are the applications of greenfield engineering. So the first thing as I, as I said actually, greenfield engineering is applicable for brand new plan brand new uh, plant in the sense and uh, you will develop a plot and you will arrange the new equipments and you will arrange the piping and you will provide an access for roads and uh, trenches and cable trays everything is going to be new actually which means that you will not have any benchmark you will not have any existing reference you have to start everything from scratch from zero this is one of the most interesting activities since you are starting actually from zero actually 
Then the second important thing is that second important uh, application for uh, greenfield engineering is if you are going to do any adjacent unit for near to the existing unit say for example this is your existing unit and you wanted to uh, extend this unit and you wanted to extend the nearby area to in order to develop a new plant actually. So this is also considered to be a greenfield because the new plot uh, in new plot you are going to completely um, uh, do the your entire designing right from zero because you don't have anything over here. Uh, if you are doing something uh, over here that is completely different but you have a new plot and you are going to arrange all the equipments and all the piping and all the electrical uh, cable trays, instrument cable trays, everything as new. This is also considered to be a greenfield engineering because the kind of activity that you are doing is actually from like a greenfield projects. You have to start from zero and you have to give all the deliverables actually. There is no pre-existing uh, drawings or models. So that is where we call this as a greenfield engineering. Now we will try to understand what is brownfield engineering. The second one is a brownfield engineering. In brownfield engineering, what uh, what you do is that you, if you have any uh, requirements to modify the existing equipments, existing piping, or if you want to change the pipe rack, so whatever modification that you do in the existing field, that is known as brownfield engineering. You may uh, replace the the old equipment to the new equipment. You may replace the old pump to the new pump, or new old heat exchanger to the new heat exchanger. So whatever kind of engineering you do in your existing field is known as a brownfield engineering. There is an another type also. Another type is that installing some new items, new items such as a new equipments or new piping in the existing field. This is also considered to be a brownfield engineering. See there are immense differences there. The first one is that you are modifying the existing equipment. But the second one is you are not modifying the exi existing equipment. You are installing a new equipment within the existing field. So this is the, the fundamental difference between modifying the existing and installing new in the existing. So this is how we have to understand. So this is known as brownfield engineering. Now we will see what is the as-built engineering, how as-builds are actually done. As-builds are actually done, as I told you, uh, it to, is to capture the field information, field information for future design. See, the reason why is that imagine that you have a 3D model and you, you are updating your 3D model based on site conditions. So that 3D model will be used for future design. You uh, you will exactly understand what is the site conditions uh, so so that you will be able to allocate certain space for future uh, design. So what if you don't have the, the updated model, what happens is that you will be routing the line in a reserved place. So it may clash with the another piping in future. So this is one of the reason as built is done. As built is done to update the existing 3D model existing drawings available so that this could be used for future design and the another feature of the asphalt engineering is that this will avoid the personals going to the field visit. Say for an example, most of the oil and gas industries are really risky to visit the field. So people generally avoid visiting the uh, site actually. So that is one of the reason why these as-built engineerings are given more importance because uh, you, when you have a 3D model in your hand, when you have the updated drawing in your hand, you don't have to visit the field because all the informations are already available in the drawing. So this will eliminate the uh, purpose of going to the field. So these are the two important features of as-built engineering. Now we will discuss about the execution strategies of different types of projects. So the first one is greenfield engineering execution strategy. Greenfield engineering strategies actually starts from conceptual. Conceptual is the stage where you put your ideas clearly. You will systematically uh, segregate your ideas in such a way that you can make a perfect plan. And then we go to the feed. Feed stands for front end engineering design actually. In front end engineering, we used to assume certain assumptions and some uh, we used to consider some preliminary informations and we used to uh, request certain inputs from vendors so that we, will, we can uh, prepare a preliminary design. So feed is actually to prepare a preliminary design. So we with the information that are available from the feed and we will start the, the detail engineering. Detail engineering is where we collect all the final informations from vendors and we uh, arrive all the final informations uh, uh, right in uh, piping layouts and isometrics. So basically uh, detail engineering is a stage where where you conclude all the uh, dimensions on all the ratings all information. So there will not be any hold points at all in detail engineering. So this is how the uh, greenfield engineering are generally executed. It starts from conceptual then it goes to feed and then it goes to detail engineering. Now let's see what is the execution strategies of brownfield engineering. 
brownfield engineering since the field uh, i mean since the plot and process plan units are already available you don't have to start from conceptual you uh, have to start from feasibility because feasibility is the one key thing that you have to do in brownfield engineering if you want to install any equipment you have to check the feasibility because you are installing in the existing field if you don't check the feasibility then probably after installing you may not be able to operate that equipment so the first and foremost thing in the brownfield engineering that we have to see is the feasibility check actually then after feasibility we have to check the cost impact because when you install something in the process plan i mean existing process plan you have to shut down the plan so how long you are going to shut down is actually impacting a huge revenue losses actually so cost impact in terms of execution in terms of safety in terms of how many number of hours you need to shut down the plans and how, how many how much of production is going to uh, uh, affected so all these factors needs to be considered so only then you can actually uh, come out with a proper solution actually so brownfield engineering is predominantly Uh, is more about the cost impact engineering and then once after arriving the feasibility and cost cost impact values actually then you will go for detail engineering detail engineering is more or less like a greenfield engineering where you prepare the plot plan you prepare your uh, uh, piping layouts and you prepare your isometric 3d model everything so the detail engineering part will be exactly same as uh, greenfield engineering so there will not be any difference between uh, brownfield detail engineering and uh, greenfield detail engineering but the only difference between uh, the greenfield detail engineering and brownfield detail engineering is that in brownfield engineering you have to collect lot of existing informations where in greenfield engineering you will have all the informations in your hand or you will generate the all new information but in existing field actually you have to design your new system according to the existing condition so you have to rely on the existing informations also sometimes you may not be able to get this existing information so you have to go you have to visit the site to collect this inputs so these are the uh, constraints in the brownfield engineering now we will uh, see what uh, how uh, as built engineering are actually executed as i said as built engineering is to uh, actually reflect the actual site condition in your 3d model and your drawings for the future design and to avoid the site visits so this is how it is executed actually so to in order to execute the as built engineering the first thing that you need to have is an existing input so you will collect all the existing inputs this is the first and foremost step to be done in the uh, as built engineering then you will ensure that um, uh, whether the collected input is matching with the site condition for that you need to collect the site inputs also so let's say that you collected certain input and you have verified this input with the site condition so both are actually matching then you will go on updating your 3d model and drawings so this is the kind of engineering strategy for as built engineering so remember that as built engineering is actually done to update the have to have the updated 3d model and to have the updated drawings so that it can be used for a future design so this is the primary intent of the as built engineering so i guess from this video you will be able to understand what are the different types of piping design engineering strategies that are applied based on the different types of engineering projects so thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for support if you like this video please give me a like and also share with your friends which will help me to promote my channel more and more and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do give me a subscription to motivate me i'll meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra